Hello guys! So today we're going to be looking at making a comic using Adobe Illustrator. So what you see in front of you is a comic I already did using Illustrator yet again. And um, I basically made it into a template. So if you have all your components and you go into file, there will be an option to save as a template. And that is what I'm working on right now. The reason I did that is because um, this is not the first comic like this I've done. There's actually a few around. I haven't like released them. It's a cool project I'm doing with somebody else. And um, it basically has a lot of the design language that has been developed for these characters. So what I'm doing now is I'm editing out what I don't want to make room for what I do want. So, um, basically these characters are all made up of shapes. It's simple. It's just vector digital drawing. It doesn't have much hand drawing, um, digital hand drawing or anything like that. And right now I'm just making these rectangles, the shapes and colors I want them to be. So this is going to be a shop guys. So. I just got two rectangles and I'm making them into a shop. Um, this was the first way I started learning digital drawing in Adobe. Uh, the time before that I was using my iPad and drawing with like a stylus. But um, it's a really basic way of building and um, Obviously, you can make things more intricate and detailed if you want. But for this styling, we have a really simple style. And right now, all I'm doing really is basically getting different sized rectangles and coloring them differently. And it really can be as simple as that, especially depending on what you're trying to do. So I want to select them all just to move them. As you saw, I duplicated some to try and get consistent spacing, even though this isn't the most detailed thing. Like I told you guys, um, you want attention to de some detail. You want it to seem legitimate. And uh, I probably will still be tweaking this a little bit by the end of it. So here's a generic name, Megamart. Um, I'm making just a glass door openings for this. As you see, it can be really basic. Like basically your goal is to make the impression of what this is. And um, yeah, this doesn't look like your local groceries, but the color schemes I use, I told you about color coding a little bit in um, one of my previous videos. And uh, we may look into that in more detail another time but color coding is important you know there's certain colors we associate with certain things and it's very deliberate a lot of players in the field and advertising adhere to this so like the kind of green in the marketplace the glass doors we're used to seeing these are all things that will like give you the vibe of a shop and of course the name so we have a little bit of science here, nothing fancy, just a, just a color. And, um, you know, you can fidget around with this. You might want to make it consistent throughout. Right now, I, I was going a bit organic, so I did a little bit of a handwriting font. But then I had to put legibility above it. So I got green there because it stood out more. And still, I'm like, hmm. It's a little hard to read and I'm thinking this might just be read from a distance. So I'm going to sacrifice my first chosen font into something a lot more legible. And you got to make those choices all the time between just style because it's not just a painting to be stared at. It's uh, got a purpose. Quick little rounding of the edges to make it a little more, I don't know, stylized instead of just rigid. And now we're going to look at the main content. So this comic already has it, um, the wording already like chosen. This is with the person I'm collaborating with. So I do the art part and he does the comic ideas 
and well sometimes we come up with them together and yeah we just refine it and this is another one of those ideas okay so we're just gonna move out these indoor stuff and make this outdoor world for this one I've extended the box instead of having two boxes to one big one because I figure it'll work better for this setting um, again we're not doing like loads of intricacies like being in the store with all the aisles because this might be posted somewhere like Instagram where you just have like your little square and um yeah so you got to keep your your platform in mind as well so uh i just did a blue sky here pretty basic it's pretty samey colored but it's clean i might tweak that a little bit but not to a huge extent so right now all i've got going on is i'm getting the people there because like I said, these people have the same styling. So even though the waiter from the last guy isn't gonna look like that by the end of this, uh, his skin color, um, his eye shapes, the way his arms move and like, all of those major features are gonna be pretty similar. And as you see when I select them, they're just like, shapes again shapes that i've edited or cropped or merged together this is just completely made out of shapes and i mean that's really drawing i mean and especially when you do digital drawing like this you'll see even more how much so that's the case so um we're giving our guy a little name tag something short and sweet and I made his shirt the same color as some of the shop colors just to make it clear that he is a representative there. He works there. And um yeah, that's the that's the plan. That's like just to make it clear. So here we have a speech bubble which I have stolen from the last one. And um this is this is how this one goes. Uh he writes, sorry, sir, but you must wear a mask, which I'm sure many of you guys are familiar with hearing and seeing on signposts now. This comic is being made in 2020, so uh, some of these themes may be relatable and relevant. And um, now I'm just going to move his arms more to a position that makes sense for him. Before this was a waiter holding a menu. And I just made these like kind of ovals, like stretched ovals. Same with the top of his t-shirt because they're just easy to move and manipulate. And his hair, I had drawn with the pencil tool and um, then filled it with color. And I made it in bits too, cause it's easy to manipulate. Whether it's in the comic I did it for or I want to use it for a different one, it's easy. So, uh. This guy's less smiley. He's not a waiter trying to be polite, make you feel welcome. He's this guy, got a little bit of a vibe about him that like, he's a bit, he's a bit frowny. He doesn't look like, very happy in this scene. And um, when you're doing it with like a couple of lines, you exaggerate it. So I'm exaggerating it with a downward line for his face in these pretty like obvious like lines shapes for his his eyebrows unimpressed one's down one's kind of questioning this guy is not very impressed he's kind of leering at the the guy he's frowning i'm just making it really clear he's not super happy and obviously we know in real life you have to frown and like screw up your whole face for people to tell like subtle changes in your position. But in a comic, in a cartoon, you need to exaggerate these things. So his arms, he's got one on his hip, like both kind of downwards. It's not very opening. And, you know, I'm even honing in that point more by changing his clothes. Like, I just thought of like a stereotypical kind of 
kind of leather jacket, kind of cool guy, or like someone maybe that like confident. I don't know. I'm, I'm, he's got a mohawk, so I don't know exactly what I'm going for here, but I'm going for something that will make sense later to have him like this. So I got the stash here and everything. I'm questioning the stash. I'm not sure the stash is necessary, but it's so easy just to, every time you see me select this, you see all the elements. So easy to get rid of it. And that's what I'm doing. I think he could just have a beard. I'm taking the little t-shirt top that used to be the waiters and I'm making it like just a longer jacket for this guy. And I'm just lining them all up now. And, um, the kind of point is, um, you know, this is easy. Look, I just, I just shifting it here and there. You could really just make a whole different composition. And especially if you're going to make a lot of these kind of comics, start small. This is a good way to do it. I mean, you understand these are humans, people of some sort. Um, you understand like their arm positioning. You can understand their face and that's the gist. That's what you want to do. So now we're going on to the next scene. And basically I just want to make this around that size. It's like a zoomed in one. And this time we're going to change the facial expressions. And you'll see how this is important when you compare it to the first one, the kind of vibe you get there. We're not going for that this time. And that will make more sense once we see what's going to be said in this one. So this one is more downcast. I've put the eyebrows and these are just lines made with, actually I think these are exact straight lines. So this is a line tool. This wasn't even the pencil tool. Um, I've gotten one of the speech bubbles and I made a new box and rounded the edges and I'm going to merge them just to give more space for this guy to speak. Cause it's just him in the scene, not the shop, not the other guy. And now you can see there's like a different disposition on his face. And you know, that's a one of brilliant thing about cartoons. Um, I've merged it and I've written, I've written it here and guys, I will show it at the end. So you could kind of like see the comic in full, but, um, here I'm always wearing a mask. I guess it's because I'm afraid to feel vulnerable. <laughs> How sad. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going for here. And we're even going to draw on these big crocodile tears. Because, yeah, there's a little of exaggeration. And you have to. Because it's not like the subtleties you could pick up in person with someone. And I have just like, you know, I made another drawing just with the pencil tool. Squiggly. And filled it with the same color. His eyelids, I want to kind of draw downward. So I'm just using the white selection tool, the white cursor rather, and I'm just changing that shape. I'm making him look really sad. So we're going from this kind of confident guy that comes across like maybe he's going to be difficult. I mean, he's already like not following the sign and now we're giving this a whole different spin. So um, here again, I've just copy and pasted him. This time I've made him, like I've zoomed him out a little. So I've changed his size so this other guy can fit in. And uh, we're gonna work on him too. He's gonna have some tears and he's gonna really empathize with this dude. And uh, they're gonna have a little, a little moment. Um, so this is how it's turned around, but this is like, this is a really simple thing. So I'm gonna go through the steps a little more again. These are all made out of shapes. You're seeing me do it. That one I hand drew with the pencil um, tool. And now I'm gonna get rid of this bottom half of him because it's gonna cut off. Get rid of the shoes that were just rounded rectangles. Shrunk the rectangles that are his legs. And that's all I'm doing. This is a really simple way to do a comic. And I encourage you that if this is like, you wanna try comics, 
try like a basic style like this. It's not really taking any sort of artistic like interpretation and impression. Sure, I made up this design language, but it's really basic and there's plenty of similar ones. You just wanna do one that helps you get your point across. So like the big eyes were good for me. Um, and that's the base of this. And like I said, maybe I'd go back and tweak something if it needed to. Sometimes after I export it, I find that the lines were a little too thin because when I make it bigger, like the person bigger or smaller, the lines can like stay their same size. So say I like zoomed him in in the second box. Oh, I might find that now his eyelid lines, like the stroke around it needs to be bigger or smaller and vice versa, like depending on if you're shrinking or zooming. So you might find that as well, but that's just a quick look at it. Guys, I don't know if you want me to do a proper breakdown, go into detail, build a person from scratch, because obviously you guys didn't see the comic before how I got there or really you saw me change the people I already had, but you did not see me create them. If you want to see something like that, let me know in the comments. And um, so yeah, here's the final result for this one. And I just like to thank you guys for joining. Um, and yeah, let's just keep exploring and creating. See you next time.